Hello, I'm the medical student, and I'm here to draw your blood. Hey, why not? Jab, jab, poke, poke. Ah, uh, go ahead. I doubt I even have any blood left for you to draw. First, I just need to put this tourniquet on. Now, make a fist. Hmm. Everything okay in here? Yes, a nurse. I'm doing fine, a and we don't need any help. Say, by the way, have you ever done this before? M m millions of times. Ooh, millions of times, you say? Then my nursing students will certainly appreciate seeing such a master of blood drawing. Come on, students. I want you to see how an expert draws blood. My arm is turning blue. Ooh. Hello there, Mr. Schmidley. I'm the medical student, and I'll be taking your history and doing your physical. Uh, well then, let's begin. Oh, look, it's Dr. Blobbert's turn to take the new medical students on ward rounds. Oh, how cute. And in this room is our next patient. <coughs> Hello there, Mr. Schmedley. Mr. Schmedley has been here for a while and appears to have a pneumonia. Mr. Schmedley, you haven't given us a good sputum specimen. Let's try again. Give a big, deep cough into the sputum cup. <coughs> Oh, for crying out loud. That's just spit. Make it come from deep, deep down. Now try again. Oh, for Pete's sakes. Let's see if we can get this right. Nope, you just can't fool around when it comes to getting a good, all-important sputum specimen. Gee, I guess neurosurgery is the most difficult and delicate of all surgeries. Isn't it, huh? 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 Never mind. Hello there, Mr. Schmedley. The medical student will be performing a thoracentesis, meaning that we will be removing some fluid from around your lung through a small needle. He will be doing this procedure under my strict directions and supervision. Okay, let's get started. Step one is to place the needle by inserting it just over the top of the rib. Ouch! <laughs> a little bit of discomfort, and now the pain is gone. Okay. Step two is to hook the thoracentesis needle to the vacuum bottle. Um, okay. What's step three? Yes, I'm a firm believer in getting medical students involved in surgical cases. How about if you tie off this suture? Certainly. Ta-da! Hello there. I'm the medical student, and I'll be seeing you first today. Uh, okay. I'm having problems with my ankle. Hmm. I don't see any swelling or redness. Hmm. Have you injured it by... Oh, no. My foot's dropped off. Excuse me? My foot's dropped off. Can't you see it? It's come off. Uh, uh right. Uh, uh, uh will, will it screw back on? Of course it won't screw back on. Does your foot screw back on? Uh, no, 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 uh, uh, uh Oh, no, no my leg's no, going no. off. Uh, 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 I'll get some scotch tape. Uh, a stapler. Oh, oh, uh, oh, who do you... <coughs> Somebody! Oh, no, I'm falling to pieces. Help me, please! Uh-oh. Looks like the chief resident is letting the intern break the bad news to the family. I'm afraid your brother-in-law is in a comma. Huh? You idiot! That's coma, not comma! Eh? What did he say? I think he said Harry's a semicolon. Rest assured, America, a skilled hospital staff awaits you. Son, this is electro cautery. It can cut, it can seal off bleeding vessels, it can save lives. Now, 
If you would be so kind and adjust the voltage for me. Sure. What is this? The power's too low. Turn up the power. Don't you know anything? Your next patient is complaining of burning on urination. Hmm, burning on urination. Well, have him give us a urine specimen. <coughs> hmm, looks like it was worse than we thought. Wow, you know, with your smoking, your cholesterol, and your blood pressure, I don't see how you exist. Ha! I knew it! I'm afraid your husband has contracted a virulent form of penicillin. Are you sure you're taking your blood pressure medication like you're supposed to be doing? Uh, yep. <laughs> Liar. Ah, oh, that's disgusting. You really should learn to sneeze with your mouth closed. Like this. Hmm? Ooh. Oh, that's real great. How are you supposed to get your brains back into your head now? So, you say your ankles have swollen up to look like elephant ankles. But Mrs. Smith, you are an elephant. Hmm, the patient is still having chest pain. Therefore, we need to increase the nitroglycerin infusion. Say, I feel better. I don't have any more chest pain. Of course you feel better. This is modern medicine. Hmm, next time let's use less nitroglycerin. Actually, we were looking for something a little more user-friendly. <laughs> hmm, the dreaded fatal error. When most computer systems crash, they usually give you some dorky message saying that you've had an application error or some other incomprehensible event. But our new operating system lets you know in no uncertain terms that you have indeed experienced a cataclysmic happening. Let's demonstrate. <laughs> 